send me. What I need to do is go find my wife. How is he? Well, he's suffering from acute sleep deprivation. I convinced him to take a sedative to get him through the night, and I've arranged for a psych consult first thing tomorrow. Thank you, doctor. Listen, you should go home. Get some rest yourself. You know he's right. You'd be no good to Paul if you're exhausted. I am no good to him as it is. Let me give you a ride home. Okay, thanks. But what you have to do is keep working on finding Meg. I couldn't save Paul from his father. Maybe she can. Nobody wants you to be like Jack. Look at Jenna. I know what everyone thinks. Ever since we were kids, he was the white knight. I was the dark one. Look, the truth is, Bradley, if you would stop competing with your brother long enough to realize there is no competition. You won. Says who? Katie. She had a choice. And she chose you, not Jack. I think she just wants you to step up and, and be the man she knows you can be. Whoa. When you said we were going someplace fun, I thought, perhaps Mabel's, not Chicago. <laughs> Are you sorry you came? Well, I won't have to worry about running into Brad here, that's for sure. That's a good thing. Still, it does feel a little weird leave town without telling anyone. Oh, the girl you used to be might have looked at it as an adventure. Mm, you sound like Brad. I don't know how to take that. He just has this amazing ability to do what he wants today and not think about tomorrow, which means he probably has a lot more fun than the rest of us. Well, that doesn't seem fair. No. Maybe if I thought a little bit more like him, I wouldn't resent him so much. That's what I'm gonna do. Tonight, I'm gonna be Brad. Should I be scared? No, I'm just going to live in the moment and to hell with the consequences. What can I get you folks to drink? What do you have that's in the to hell with the consequences territory? <laughs> I guess another beer's out of the question, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's start out with uh, two shots of tequila, please. Okay. What if I can't keep up? You will. I'll be helping you. I'm only going to hold you back. No, you won't. I don't know, Dusty. I do. You can do it. It's dark now, which is good. Harder to see us, okay? And we'll take it slow, real slow. I'll carry you if I have to. We just gotta get out of here right now. No, 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 I'm sorry, I can't. I'm afraid even if I make it, my baby won't.
Okay, don't say it. I know you are busy, but I need your help. Okay, don't tell me you have second thoughts about dropping the kidnapping charges now. No, 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 no. But Derek is the reason why I'm here. I really need you to help me find him. <laughs> okay, now I know you're kidding. No, no. Derek was supposed to meet me earlier, and he never showed, and I really think that he's in trouble. Okay, big surprise, Bonnie. The guy is bad news. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is help you hook up look, with him. Look, Dallas, I'm really worried here. When he called me, he said he was worried that if James found out that he talked to the cops, that he would come after him. So? So, this is really serious, No, 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 Dallas? what's really serious is that a pregnant woman has been kidnapped by a known fugitive, right? My top priority right now is finding Meg. All right, fine. Uh, uh, oh, look, 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 if you, if you haven't heard from him in 24 hours, you can, you can follow a missing persons report. Oh, thanks. Bonnie, you need to let him go, all right? Be grateful that creep is out of your life. You were James. Thank God you heard me. What are you doing here? Let me out. I'll explain Let everything. Me out. Are you joking? But this is another setup. You and James are gonna try and keep me from finding my wife. I no longer work for your father. Really? Yes. That's why I'm here. Because I wouldn't run one of his errands for him. Since when? Since today, when I told him I wouldn't watch after Meg. Watch Meg where? Tell me. Let me out, and I will. You got a minute? Didn't we already do this? Look, okay, there's something I need to tell How you. How did you even know I was here? I was it Al's asleep walk in? I was talking with Janet. I'm sure she would love if you stopped in and oh, said hello. I see. Since the check thing didn't work, you're trying to patch things up with me and Janet now? No. Good, because it's been a really long night, and I just don't have time making you feel better about messing up my life. Never expected you to. Uh, okay, I admit that when I gave you the check that I was hoping that you and Katie would see me as a, as a great guy, and uh, I see that... It was stupid, and it was wrong. Good. And I wasn't entirely unselfish when I asked you to cover for me with the whole Leo thing. I, I didn't want to go to jail. It was pretty clear. It was? Yeah. And I know that it's too late to make up for what you've lost, so I'm going to do the right thing. <sighs> Which is? I'm going to turn myself in. I'm serious. Don't do that for me. It's not going to change my situation at all. Hey, well, you know, at least you'll see that your brother's not the self-centered loser you thought he was. Well, you're self-centered. You're not a loser. Tell that to my wife. Hey, she doesn't think that either. And when she finds out what you're going to do, I guarantee you she'll be proud of you. Oh, there he is. Another round over here, please. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're such a good guy. I try. But I was right. I did respect you when we were married. Well, I hope you still do respect me. But you didn't respect me, did you? Don't answer that. Never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> I did respect you, Katie. And then I had the whole Simon slip, and then you hated me. Never. Oh, I got really late really fast. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Brad's probably home by now, wondering where the hell I am. Do you want to go? No. Do you want to call him? No. I'm still busy being Brad. Why would I believe one word that you have to say? I'm sure that you don't, but it's still the truth. And if you want to see Meg again, you're going to need my help. Fine. You can help me from right where you are. But, uh, okay, okay, okay. It's a place called Swan's Down Cottage. Where's that? On the Faroe Island off the coast of Maine. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait! Aren't you going to let me out? I don't trust you. You're still working for James. You're just giving me information that he wants me to have. You tell him something for me. I'm gonna find Meg, and I'm gonna bring her home. And no, I'm not afraid to kill him. Wind on the ocean is cold at night. You can't afford to get sick. Okay, look, you're not listening to me. I said I don't think I can make it. 
You told me this baby means everything to you. It does. And you believe in your future with Paul? Yeah, I do. Then you gotta do this. If you want to see that future happen, if you want to protect your child, you're gonna leave with me right now. Okay? Okay. week on As the World Turns. Um, hi, Brad, how's it going? <laughs> Noah! Oh my god. I can't leave Aaron. Yes, you can. It's a trap, isn't it? Jack's walking ah, the trap. Ah, no! What are you gonna do? Kill me.